the 13th Convocation Ceremony of Bell's University of Technology, Ota, which doubled as the third convocation ceremony of the special direct entry students holding today, the 5th of November, 2021. I sincerely welcome His Excellency, my father, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR, PhD, who coincidentally had to travel out yesterday morning, the promoter of Bell's University of Technology, Ota. I want to sincerely and deeply appreciate your excellency for finding me worthy to be installed as the third chancellor of this great university, as well as the confirmant of the honorary degree of Doctor of Science DSC honoris causa on me. This is the second time Chief Olusegun is doing, Obasanjo is doing this honor to me. In 2005, he appointed me as the Accountant General of the Federation. I will forever remain grateful to this gentleman. This is a great honor done to me, and I do not take it light. I will do all that is within my capacity to ensure due diligence in the discharge of all duties associated with this appointment. I welcome the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Professor Bat O. Naji, F-A-S, F-A-E-N-G, N-N-O-M. Members of Board of Trustees and Council, the Vice Chancellor Professor Jeremy Ojediron, members of Senate, staff, and students of Bell University. I must also at this point welcome my former Vice Chancellor, Dr. Osage, Professor Osage. I sincerely appreciate the convocation guest lecturer. Professor Egosa E. Osage, like I said, who was my former Vice Chancellor in Okada. <laughs> Too much coincidence that I have been crossing your path for the second time, Your Excellency. For his third provoking lecture on making science a paradigm for development, the perspective of science diplomacy. Through his lecture, we have, and we have been enlightened, you have enlightened this distinguished audience on how science and technology can greatly contribute to the socio-economic development of our dear nation. I also welcome and appreciate our very distinguished academics and vice chancellors of other universities. The Bell's University's parent forum, BUPF, media executives, and other distinguished guests. This is my maiden outing as the Chancellor of Bell's University of Technology, which coincides with the third convocation ceremony of the direct entry students. May I, at this junction, congratulate you all for your hard work and diligence and I am confident that you will be good ambassadors of this university. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once again, and I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. I have the honor and privilege to call upon the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Professor Bart Inaji, to deliver his welcome address. Pro Chancellor, sir.
Mr. Chancellor, I feel deeply honored to welcome you all to the 13th Convocation Ceremony of Bell's University of Technology, which also doubles as the third Convocation Ceremony for the Special Direct Entry students taking place today, Friday, 5th November, 2021. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to once again appreciate the promoter, His Excellency Chief Ulushegun Obasanjo, GCFR, for his unflinching support of this university. I heartily congratulate the Chancellor, Alhaji Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo, who has just been installed today as the third Chancellor of this great university. The university will definitely benefit from your wealth of experience. May I also welcome the members of the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, the Vice Chancellor, members of Senate, staff and students of this great institution. I welcome and appreciate Vice Chancellors and Registrars of other institutions here present, as well as all members of Bell's University Parents Forum. Permit me at this juncture to reiterate that the direct entry, the special direct entry program is Bell's University response to societal needs, especially the needs of the working class for continuous education. I therefore facilitate with the graduating special direct entry students who through dint of hard work are being celebrated today. I charge you to remain worthy ambassadors of this great institution and strive to make a difference wherever you may find yourself. Once again, I welcome you all and thank you for your kind attention. I have the honor and privilege to invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Jeremiah Oludele Ojediron, to deliver his convocation address. Vice Chancellor. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on the already established protocol while recognizing the brand new and the third chancellor of this university. I have the special privilege and honor to welcome you all to this special occasion of the 13th Convocation Ceremony of Bell's University of Technology, Ota, for the installation of our new chancellor, confirmant of honorary degree, award of higher degrees and diplomas, admission to first degrees, and presentation of prizes to deserving individuals. It is gladdening to note that this marks my sixth convocation speech as the third substantive vice chancellor of this great university. For all of God's grace, mercies, blessings, protection, successes and benevolence, we ascribe all glory to the almighty God. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as, as is my way on such occasion in the past, I wish to deeply appreciate our promoter, Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, GCFR, PhD, for the confidence reposed in my person and by extension, our administration. He has been a bulwark for us. With his firm support, we were able to make some modest landmark achievements for which we are indeed grateful. Indeed, Baba is a true father. And I have enjoyed the exceptional love and goodwill of this great son of Africa. It would be remiss of me not to publicly acknowledge him. Baba, you are indeed 
God's special gift to us. We sincerely appreciate you, sir. Let me especially appreciate the top echelon of the administration of Bell's University of Technology Hotel, especially the Pro Chancellor, Engineer Professor Bart Naji, for the sterling leadership provided, the gentle nudging, and the confidence we always enjoy. I also especially appreciate the Executive Secretary, NUC, my fellow Vice Chancellors, and their representatives, as well as other notable stakeholders in the education sector, parents and guardians, friends and well-wishers at this auspicious occasion. I wish to especially acknowledge a few band of men and women at the arms of affairs here at Bell's Tech, who have in the past few years put their hands with mine to till the ground. Thank you very much. I welcome you all to, the, to today's event, which is the culmination of activities to mark the 13th convocation ceremony of our great university, a university that, I must state, is a child of destiny and is destined for greatness. Let me reiterate here again that our drive is fueled by the guiding principle as contained in the administration's vision for Belstech to make it a world-class university that is internationally recognized as a pace setter in all of its activities. This world-class status shall reflect in our academic excellence, sterling administration, staff and student welfare, as well as value-adding linkages and partnership. This vision will be kept in our consciousness as this admission's resolve is to accomplish the ideals of a Bell's University of Technology where all staff and students are able to develop their potential to the fullest capacity. Where programs and products are internationally acclaimed as relevant to human development and where innovative and transparent administration will be the hallmark to be able to compete favorably for the top rated universities in the world. On this note, I wish to welcome you all to the 13th Convocation Ceremony of Bell's University of Technology, Ota. You are all welcome. Thank you, Administrative Matters. It is with a heavy heart that I inform this great gathering of the demise of our former visitor, President and Chairman Board of Trustees, Reverend Dr. Wilson Barijo. This great son of Africa and gentleman par excellence, gloriously transited to the great beyond on Saturday, 7th August, 2021, and was buried on 8th October, 2021. Our fond memories of Reverend Dr. Wilson Barijo will always remain fresh as he brought immense stability and orderly development to our great university. But God knows best. It is also with heavy hearts that we wish to inform this gathering the demise of our former Chancellor Al Haji. Ahmed Yoda, which occurred on Friday, 13th August 2021 in Yola, at the ripe old age of 91. He was buried same day. Our thoughts and prayers are with these families. The Pro-Chancellor has already mentioned these two, and we have stood up for a minute's silence in honor of these ones. I wish to inform this gathering that today history is being made. The installation of our third substantive chancellor in the eminent personality of His Excellency, Dr. 
Ibrahim Hassan Tankwambo FCA OON. May I seize this opportunity to appreciate and welcome His Excellency Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo, our new Chancellor. Dear sir, we are delighted to have you on board and I personally look forward to drinking from your wealth of experience as you bring to bear during your tenure. Election of the fourth Deputy Vice Chancellor. The two term tenure of the third substantive and first female Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Ulubukola Kufuriji, officially ended on the last working day of July 2021. Consequent on the above, Senate at its 57th meeting of 12th August 2021 elected Professor Francis Chiu as the fourth Deputy Vice Chancellor. Before his election, Professor Francis Chiu was the director, Center for Foundation Education, fondly called Same Fate. <laughs> Academic matters. Thank you. Over the years, we have consciously reviewed our activities, especially in the areas of the welfare of our students and our offerings. We have always recognized that we have to offer them bouquet that are unique in every way so as to enable them stand out. These we have strived to accomplish within the limitations of our resources. Currently, we have the following initiatives which have helped in no small ways to ensure a healthy subscription to our programs, at the same time meeting the needs of the society. One, our affiliation with JUPEV, the Joint Universities Primary Education Board, this is gradually being strengthened. Two, our top-up program is gradually yielding fruit as the third set would be graduating today. Today's event is an affirmation of the uniqueness of Bell's Tech in blazing the trail in innovative offerings to solve identified pro problems. We, ad we identified a gap which needed to be filled and deployed our ingenuity and leverages into solving the problem. It gladdens our hearts that we are graduating our third set of this unique set of professionals and we will not rest on our oars by providing unique platforms for various other segments of the community. Let it be on record today that what we offer is not the run-of-the-mill program, but a specialized and unique bouquet whereby our students for the special direct entry program are properly registered with and admitted through JAMP. Hence, no illegal admission here in Bellstech. Reaccreditation of our programs. In the course of the past year, the university presented 12 of its existing programs for reaccreditation by the National Universities Commission in April 2021. We are glad very glad to inform this noble gathering that the results of the reaccreditation exercise have been received. And we, have, we had 11 full accreditation and one interim, as listed before, below. Five, six in College of Natural and Applied Sciences, one in College of Engineering, five in College of Environmental Sciences. This is in addition to positive professional accreditation statuses of our relevant programs which were presented for such during the past year. Our unique selling point, we take great pride in the pedigree of our founding fathers and the vision and mission of the university. If it appears that we see further than others, it is because we stand on the shoulders of giants 
who had provided us with the platform on which we stand today. One, promoter scholarship. It is in the light of the above that the university received with gratitude the news that our promoter, Chief Ulushego Obasanjo, GCFR, PhD, instituted the Promoters Scholarship Scheme for the best graduating students in each college of the university. A letter was officially written to this effect, accompanied with a seed song as first installment towards this scheme. The scholarship is to PhD level here in Bell's University of Technology and is to encourage our graduates to come back to the system and help grow their alma mater. The University Senate is already working out templates for this scholarship. Two, NSF International First Nigerian Examiner. One new direction of the university is to encourage and enable our staff to attain the highest level of their professional and academic endeavors. This, we strongly believe, will be of great value addition to our profile as well as rub off positively on the quality of our offerings to our students as well as relationship with the industry. In the light of this, we celebrate one of our own, Dr. Adiola Anyao, of the Central Teaching and Research Laboratory, who was recently licensed by NSF International as the only Nigerian examiner and trainer to provide certification, testing, and auditing to public health standards in all industries and sectors worldwide. This is to improve human health and safety. She was selected based on her knowledge, experience, and qualification to train, audit, and perform technical support for some food, retail, hospitality, processing companies in Nigeria and some African countries. Research and partnership. Research and collaborations are two of the strong pivots of academia. The university is consciously working towards improving this, as I state this, them below. One, the Seeding Lab Initiative. The university is at its full and final stage of consummating the collaboration with the Seeding Laboratory, USA, to bring in research laboratory equipment, which we strongly believe will increase our capacity in research, especially in the fields of chemical sciences, microbiology, biotechnology, food technology, and biomedical sciences. Two, medical mini engineering foundry. This foundry is positioned to aid teaching and research as well as imbuing the undergraduate and postgraduate students with manufacturing skills that will make them job creators rather than job seekers. Three, high weather meteorological station. The university also, through the College of Engineering, activated an high weather meteorological station for educational use based on a partnership with Schmalkalden University in Germany. This was the result of the collaboration between Bestech and Schmalkalden University of Applied Sciences. SWEP. The Student Work Experience Program, especially for students in the colleges of engineering and environmental sciences, have been used to gradually develop our infrastructure internally. The approach is for some of some, it's for the students to be put into work groups, which will, with the help of their instructors, identify an area in which to intervene. This approach had led to the construction of interlocking paved roads 
in the last few years within the campus. I am glad to inform this gathering that this approach has triple benefits of one, improving our infrastructure, two, instilling in the students the needed skills of problem solving, and three, giving them life skills. In our quest for continuous improvement and untiring drive towards equipping our students for relevance, we added another skill to the bouquet this year with the introduction of quality paint making. An expert was engaged to teach the SWEP students the art and skills of paint making. I am glad to inform our dear guests that the students had a good experience and even used the paints they made to paint the interior of one of our halls of residence during the break. Units within the university. The Directorate of Academic Planning. The positive results we have received, we have received of our accreditation exercises, both by NUC and other relevant professional bodies, are evidences of good job being done by this directorate. Advancement Center. The Advancement Center has been actively engaging various linkages and collaborations which are aimed at improving our relationships and advancing the frontiers of our researches and collaborations. The Center for Agricultural, Technological and Entrepreneurial Studies, fondly called Kates. Kates has been busy on several fronts in its drive to achieve its mandate. Below are the three fronts of its activities. One, researching out, reaching out to other institutions to strengthen our fledgling co collaborations. Two, hosting laudable virtual seminars on German issues in agriculture and entrepreneurship. Three, preparing the curricula for the various programs in the proposed College of Food and Cultural Science and Technology. Climate change. An offshoot of the College of Food and Agricultural Sciences called FAST is the thinking towards looking into the burning issue of climate change. The university is working towards this. And a template for the establishment of the Center for Climate Change is being put in place. Lectures, conferences within the system. With the after effect of COVID-19 pandemic still with us, the society had come to terms with the realities of the new normal, especially as it affects physical gathering. This had affected most of our conferences and other academic gatherings. However, the need for researches and advancements in scholarly endeavors need to be sustained. Hence, the university encourages staff to engage in conferences and public lectures which came both in physical, virtual, or hybrid format, both locally and externally. Staff matters. During the annual review, the following staff of the university backed their higher degrees. Nine PhDs were recorded the annual review. Five master's degree were recorded the annual reviews. And nine members of staff got grants, awards, and had professional attainment. Student matters. During the annual review, InterVarsity Sports invitation at Christland University of Biokuta, our students got four gold and four silver medals.
The university participated in the finals of the Red Bull Neymar Junior competition. Five aside for football competition, which held on 20th May to 17th July 2021. The university's football team came ninth out of a total of 381 teams who registered for the competition. Infrastructure development. Bell's University Parent Forum, BUPF. May I, at this juncture, once again, and especially appreciate the Bell's University Parent Forum, BUPF, for identifying with the university and for their various interventions. The interventions have always been timely and thoughtful, for which we are very grateful. It was reported at the last convocation ceremony that the forum had agreed to, to renovate and upgrade our former multipurpose hall to a befitting conference hall. I am glad to announce that the hall hosting this event today is a result of that intervention. <laughs> BUPF delivered on its promise, and this beautiful hall was commissioned by our promoter, Chief Ulushe Gwabasajo, GCFR PhD, on 7th August 2021, and was named BUPF International Conference Hall, where we are all seated today. <laughs> student intervention. The Bell's University Student Association, BUSA, donated the following projects to the university. One, they renovated the sport pavilion with lights and new stadium seats, renovated the long pavilion with lights, renovated the long tennis courts. <laughs> to our gardens of today, today's event is unique for two main reasons. We have installed the third chancellor of this university, a very important landmark in the annals of this university. We are also graduating the third set of our special direct entry program, the top up. May I reiterate here today that our foray into the special direct entry top-up program was a response to an identified yearning by professionals, especially, especially in the identified contiguous industrial areas who are desirous to improve their status and have a taste of the formal university learning experience. Let it be reiterated that these are not novices in their various fields of endeavor. Hence, their classroom and laboratory experiences were programmed to be different and rigorous. Some have even risen to almost the apex of their careers. Hence, their contributions to the learning experience has been very professional and mutually beneficial. It must also be understood that they ran the same approved curricula for all of our programs as well as fulfill the required contact hours. It should also be noted that the top-up degree through conversion programs of Bell's University of Technology is a full-time program with flexible lecture hours and a weekend model designed for mature working class students for a period of two years of six semesters. We are proud and very proud at Bell's Tech for blazing this trail on this initiative. And we are already seeing the positive results thereof. Today, College of Natural and Applied Sciences will be graduating a total of 24 students, five first class, 10 second class upper division, eight second class lower division, one in the third class. College of Management and Applied Sciences, management Sciences 
We'll be graduating 16 students, five first class, six second class upper, five second class lower. College of Environmental Sciences, 74, three first class, 33 second class upper, 37 second class lower, one third class. College of Engineering, we'll graduate 79, five first class, 26 second class upper, 44 second class lower, and four third class. A total of 193 students. My charge to the graduates. My dear graduates of today, you have every cause to rejoice and be happy. I will rejoice with you. You must have expended time, energy, money, and your emotions must have been put to task while here. Today's event calls for caution as you are not the same person who came in. Much has been given to you and much is expected of you. You are charged to put to use the new thinking, new knowledge that has been acquired here. I must tell you that the society, whether immediate, your immediate cycle or the larger one, will have greater expectations of you. The UNOS is on you individually not to let them down and not to let us down. We are releasing you today as our ambassadors and we certainly look forward to great news from you. As you go out today, my prayers for you is where you used to crawl, you will now walk. Where you used to walk, you will now run. Where you used to run, you will now fly. Where you used to sit, you will, not, you will now stand and not be tired. You shall not struggle to excel. You shall surpass your own expectations. Your strength shall always be renewed. You shall not fall by the wayside. While we pray for you and wish you well, it is very important to point out that you are at the cost of history at which you celebrate the completion of a vital phase of your individual lives, transitory to a higher one with higher responsibilities. In concluding this address, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to appreciate the firm's support, confidence, and understanding of the founding fathers, our dear promoter, the entire membership of the Board of Trustees, and the Governing Council for their guidance. You have piloted the affairs of this university aright for the past over 15 years of its existence. I most especially appreciate our new Chancellor, His Excellency, Dr. Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo, FCA OON, for accepting the call to service. I must appreciate the unquantifiable support of management, staff, and students in walking the path and standing by us all the way. Let me use this platform to deeply appreciate my colleagues, the university faculty, who have invested skills, time, energy, and energy in shaping and producing today's graduates. Your contributions to the success of today's event is sincerely appreciated. I am convinced that we will not take our steps off the pedal in the drive towards more success in the future. Once again, I thank you and I thank our parents, guardians, guests for identifying and rejoicing with us on a day like this. You have contributed in no small way, measure, to the success of this convocation ceremony. Members of the fourth ring of the estate have indeed been our partners in progress. We appreciate you. We cherish your ever ready cooperation at all times, and we look forward to a better relationship with you 
as our very formidable allies and partners in the progress of our great institution. I thank you all for your attention. Only the best is good for best. Thank you. Admission to first degrees, direct entry. Honorable Chancellor, sir, the persons who have been presented have fulfilled the requirement of the statutes and regulations of Bell's Rest of Technology Order and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degrees of their various programs in the Colleges of Natural and Applied Sciences, Management Sciences, Environmental Sciences, and Engineering. I therefore call upon the deans of the College of Natural Applied Sciences, Management Sciences, Environmental Sciences and Engineering, respectively, to present their graduate, Dean College of Natural and Applied Sciences. Will the graduating students in the College of Natural and Applied Sciences for the 2020-2021 academic session, rise and remain standing. <laughs> Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you the authority, by the authority of Senate, the persons standing and those honorably absent whose names appear in this list and for whom I stand prosy and who have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Technology of Bell's University of Technology author. By the powers conferred on me as a chancellor, I admit you all to the degree of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Technology of Bell's University Tech of Technology Otter. The graduates, please file out to shake hands with the Chancellor. <laughs> College of Bachelor of Science degree, Department of Biological Sciences, Ashiro Okoyemi Adioye, first class. Second class, Honors, Upper Division, Ilegbemi Olayinka Kemi, Abdullah, Maria Abiodun, Adegoki Adifunke Margaret, second class honor, lower division. Third class honor, Akinwale Morufat Olawumi, Bachelor of Technology degree, Biotechnology, first class, ni, second class, ni, Department of Chemical and Food Sciences. Thank you, sir. Dean College of Management Sciences. With the graduating students in the College of Management Sciences for the 2020-2021 academic session, rise and remain standing. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you by the authority of Senate, the person standing and those unavoidably absent whose names appear in this list 
and for whom I stand proud, and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science or Best University of Technology, Otta. By the powers conferred on me as Chancellor, I admit you all to the degree of Bachelor of Science of Bell's University of Technology, Otta. Will the graduates file out now to have a handshake with the Chancellor? College of Management Sciences, Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting. First class honors. Taiwo Grace Oluwakemi. Alunge Adewale. Second class honors, upper, upper division. Okoje Augustine. Sunday Nyinka. Second class honors, lower division. Ido Wute Mitayo. Department of Business Administration, Human Resource Management Option. First class honors, Ade, Ade Nina and Neola Stella. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dean College of Environmental Sciences. graduating students in the College of Environmental Sciences for the 2020-2021 academic session rise and remain standing. <laughs> Honorable Chancellor Sir, I present to you by the authority of Senate, the person standing and those unavoidably absent whose names appear in this list, and for whom I stand proxy, and who have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Technology of Bell's University of Technology, Autumn. By the powers conferred of me as a chancellor, I admit you all to the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Technology, of Bell's University of Technology, Ota. Congratulations. May the graduates please file out to have a handshake with the uh, Chancellor. <laughs> Department of Architecture, first class honors. Ajayi Daniel Oluwatobi, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Kuku Ridwanu Oluwatosin, Oguntolu Olumide Olumuiwa, Ayindeke Inde Jamiu, Elegbede Babatunde Abiodun, Saliu Abdulaziz Bolanle, Ola Ayodeji Samson, Ayogbe Mika Yode Olushegun, Olude Ola. Ola Dipo Olufu Shayo Olugun Dudu Babatunde Oluwa Femi Oguche Ayebe Samuel Fasoya Folorusha Olajide Odedoyi Johnson Abiodun Second Class Honors Lower Division Akin Rade Abiodun Samson Sulaiman Ablaziz Ajao Ola Kunle Solomon Olua Kayode, Tonibo Ebebra Taiwo, Delo Joyemi Antoni, Ola Bule Adonola Ibrahim, Anima Shahu Sulaiman Akombi, Fashanu Bolami Adebayo. Thank you. Dean College of Engineering.
with the graduating student in the College of Engineering for the 2020-2021 academic section. Rise and remain standing, please. The Honorable Chancellor, sir, I present to you by the authority of the Senate, the person standings and those honorably absent, whose names appear in the list and whom I stand prosy, and whom have been, have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of Bachelor's of Engineering of Bercy University of Technology author. Thank you, sir. By the powers conferred on me as a chancellor, I admit you all to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering of Bell's University of Technology, Otta. Congratulations. May the graduates fire past the chancellor for a handshake, please. Bachelor of Engineering, B. Engine, Mechanical and Biomedical Engineering, Okoli Sandra Abinoju, Lawan Jamil Olari Waju, first class students, Akimba Mikdo, Timitope Oluwole, Adeni Wale Messi, Bolade Josiah Sunday, Oluwa Femi Taiwo Adisola, Banjo John, Adekunle, Ayodeji Babalola, Folami Fasasi, Adibayo, Osinkolu, Kolade, Olaniyi, Daramola, Oluwashion, Michael, Aladetan, Peter Friday, Akinfe, Olade Kupo, Jenkins, Kolapo, Rashid, Olade Waji, Chinonsu, Jerry, Uitola, John, Oluwashion, Saka Yusu, Folarin, and Fumilayo Theophilos. Oluwadayo. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I request all the graduates of today to rise and remain standing. We are going to take the oath of induction into the Alumni Association of uh, Bell's University of Technology. You turn the tassel of your cap to the left hand side. From the right to the left hand side. Open to go to page 104 of the order of proceeding. Page 105 of the order of proceedings. And you read after me. I, your name and your department college, having completed in the College of Bell's University of Technology, desire to be admitted into Bell's University of Technology Alumni Association. I do solemnly affirm that I will fully subscribe to the aims and objectives of the association and at all times contribute to the growth and development of Bell's University of Technology in particular and the society in general. So help me God. Congratulations. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the following grad graduate, graduate students who have distinguished themselves in the respective programs for the 2020-2021 academic uh, session.
best graduating student in the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Orenuga Joseph Oreolua, with a CGPA of 4.85, Nutrition and Dietetics. May I invite the Chancellor? Best graduate student in the College of Management Sciences, Ogun Yakinu Tunde, CGPA 4.76, Marketing. Best graduate student in the College of Environmental Sciences, Salami Bosse, Success, CGPA 4.62, Estate Management. Best graduate student in the College of Engineering, Kumakwai Shegun Sheung, 4.79, Electrical Electronics Engineering. Departmental prizes. Best graduate student in each department. College of Natural and Applied Sciences, Department of Biological Sciences, Ashiru Okweyemi Adeoye. CGPA 4.82, Microbiology. <laughs> Chemical and Food Sciences, Orenuga Joseph Oreolua. CGPA 4.85, Nutrition and Dietetics. Physical Sciences, Yusuf Akitunde Aziz. CGPA 4.76, Apply Mathematics with Statistics. Computer Science and Information Technology, Dada Samuel Sunday, CGPA 4.05, Computer Science. College of Management Sciences, Economics, Accounting, and Finance, Taiwo Grace Oluwakemi, CGPA 4.67, Accounting. Business Administration, Ogun Yakinu Tunde, Marketing, CGPA 4.76. Management Technology, Odubani Olushegun David, CGPA 4.02, Project Management. College of Environmental Sciences, Architecture, Ajayi Daniel Oluatobi, CGPA 4.58. Building Technology, Adebayo Adeshino Dada, CGPA 4.28. Estate Management, Salami Bosse Success, CGPA 4.62. Quantity Surveying, Moses Eteng Obong, CGPA 4.45. Survey and Geoinformatics, Abdusalam Jami Yemi, CGPA 3.76. Urban and Regional Planning, Kodri Balkis Dolapo, CGPA 4.26. College of Engineering, Electrical, Electronics, and Computer Engineering, Kumakwai Shegun Sheun, CGPA 4.79, Electrical, Electronics, Engineering. Mechanical and Biomedical Engineering, Okole Sandra Obianujo. CGPA 4.57, Mechanical Engineering. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I hereby invite the Vice Chancellors and representatives of other institutions to present the goodwill messages sent to us on this occasion of our 13th convocation ceremony. May I invite the representative of the National Open uh, University for the goodwill message?
the agree message will be presented uh, uh, tomorrow. ICT. Yes. Uh, sir, it's okay, Abby. Yes, we take a uh, not been able to be present at either the lecture or the consultation ceremonies. This is one of the occasions that I will make both the lecture and the convocation due to circumstances beyond my control. Okay. Uh, As you may know, a little over two His months ago, uh, I was appointed high representative tomorrow. of the AU we Commission chairman uh, to the Horn of Africa to promote peace, security, stability, and political dialogue. Permit me to announce that goodwill messages were received from the Vice Chancellor of Al Hikman University. Ilorin, Nigeria, the Chairman Committee of Vice Chancellors, and uh, Vice Chancellor of Ibunedion University. Thank you. Uh, before the closure of the convocation, we have the following uh, announcement. Let me first of all uh, recognize the arrival of uh, Honorable. Uh, Usman Ali Ogari, SSA to Gombe State uh, Governor Liaison Office in Abuja. Hello. Welcome, sir. After the closure of the convocation, the Vice Chancellor and his guests and members of the high table will uh, move to the Vice Chancellor's office for uh, a brief refreshment. All our guests from Gombe State will move to Temperance Guest uh, House for a brief uh, entertainment. Senate members and others will move to the Senate uh, chamber for their own uh, refreshment. Our 13 convocation ceremony for the award of higher degrees, admission to first degrees, and the presentation of prizes will continue tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. in this uh, venue. So tomorrow by 10 a.m., the, the convocation ceremony for the regular student will continue. So we uh, we, are, we are invited to be seated by 9.30 tomorrow. May I humbly invite the Honorable Chancellor, sir, to declare the convocation ceremony closed. Honorable Chancellor. I hereby declare the convocation ceremony closed. Shall we rise for the Bestec Anthem and the National Anthem? Bestec Anthem.
national anthem. Let's remain standing while the academic procession leaves in reverse, in reverse order. <laughs> 